There is a place in our solar system that challenges everything we thought we knew, a vast, distant world that has been quietly drifting at the very edge of the sun's influence for over four decades. This lonely traveler, Voyager 2, has journeyed farther than any human-made object except for its twin, Voyager 1. But recently, something unusual happened. A signal, faint yet structured, was detected. And that signal came from Voyager 2. What started as a routine check turned into a scientific enigma, and some are even calling it the most perplexing transmission ever recorded from deep space. It all began with a scheduled update, a calibration command sent from Earth to adjust Voyager 2's orientation. At first, everything seemed routine. But to the surprise of NASA engineers, Voyager 2 didn't respond the way it was supposed to. It shifted its antenna just enough to lose direct contact with Earth. This was not just a temporary glitch, it cut off the flow of data, plunging the craft into an eerie silence. And then, against all odds, a signal reappeared. Not a complete one, not even intelligible at first, but clearly structured. It wasn't random static. There was a pattern. Voyager 2 was never designed to be mysterious. Launched in 1977, its mission was clear. Explore the outer planets and then continue outward into interstellar space. It has done just that, sending back incredible images and measurements from Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But its recent behavior was anything but predictable. With instruments aging and power levels dwindling, every year it survives as a miracle of engineering. Yet, when this signal arrived, scientists were stunned. It appeared to follow a rhythm, not Morse code, not binary, but something between a pulse and a repeatable sequence of data packets. What did it mean? At first, many assumed it was just Voyager 2's aging hardware malfunctioning. After all, it's more than 19 billion kilometers from Earth. Communication takes over 18 hours one way. But when independent scientists and data analysts reviewed the signal using digital filters, they noticed something strange. Embedded within the signal was a subtle modulation, like a fingerprint that didn't belong to the probe's original system. Some speculated that this may be the result of radiation damage or interference. Others weren't so sure. The structure was too deliberate. Speculation exploded in the scientific community. Could it be a reflection? Could something have intercepted Voyager 2's signal and bounced it back? If so, what was doing the bouncing? A rogue object? A gas cloud? Or something, artificial? Theories ran wild. One of the most talked about ideas was something called the mirror theory. According to this, Voyager 2's signal may have been reflected by an object or structure beyond our understanding. Something designed to echo communications in a specific way. Like a cosmic answering machine, it sends back what it receives, but with its own embedded signature. Some scientists cautioned against jumping to conclusions. Deep space is full of oddities and our instruments are limited. Yet, what made this event even more intriguing was that Voyager 2's internal log didn't match the changes observed from Earth. It's as if the probe's memory was edited or altered between transmissions. For a spacecraft running autonomously, this should be impossible. Unless, of course, something had accessed its systems. That suggestion was quickly dismissed as science fiction by NASA. But outside official circles, many experts began analyzing the implications more seriously. Voyager 2 runs on ancient technology by today's standards. It has a memory capacity of only 68 kilobytes, less than a modern email. Its software is written in assembly language, hardwired and difficult to tamper with. Yet, somehow, this structured anomaly made it through. Could it be that something interfered with its systems in a way we don't yet understand? If not extraterrestrial, then perhaps quantum effects or interference from an unknown type of cosmic particle? The questions piled up faster than answers could be found. As more scientists around the world reviewed the raw data, often unofficially and anonymously in online forums, a growing number began to report similar conclusions. The signal wasn't just structured. It was reactive. When Earth transmitted a follow-up command, Voyager 2's next pulse change. 
It was subtle, but enough to suggest interaction. What if Voyager 2 had become an unintended beacon, a probe that not only listens and speaks but also learns? For decades, Voyager has carried with it the golden record, a time capsule of Earth's sounds, languages, and music intended for any intelligent life it might encounter. Could it be that something had finally noticed? Was this signal a response not to our command, but to our story? Those who support this idea believe the signal was more than technical, it was a message. But if that's true, why did it come now? Why, after nearly half a century of silence, did Voyager 2 emit a signal that defied all expectations? There's another layer to the mystery. When scientists attempted to recreate the event using computer simulations, none of their models could replicate the exact pattern of modulation in the signal. Even environmental factors like cosmic rays or solar wind couldn't account for it. In one chilling twist, a group of researchers ran the signal through a linguistic analysis algorithm, not expecting anything, just out of curiosity. What they found wasn't language, but statistical properties often found in human communication, rhythm, repetition, and gaps. Not enough to claim it was speech, but enough to say, this was not noise. Of course, all of this remains unofficial. NASA's public statements downplay the anomaly, calling it a glitch, and noting that Voyager 2 is once again functioning properly after a manual realignment. But the scientific community remains divided. If it was just a misfire, why the structured signal? Why the pattern? And why did several independent observatories detect the same modulation? Then came the most unsettling part. After a brief return to normal operation, Voyager 2 again transmitted a short burst, similar in shape to the original anomaly, but inverted. This, mirror echo, as some now call it, added fuel to the speculation that Voyager is now part of something much larger than we imagined. It's no longer just a probe, it's a node in a network we don't understand. Whether that network is natural or artificial, terrestrial or alien, remains the subject of intense debate. Back on Earth, the implications are staggering. If Voyager 2 is being interacted with by something unknown, it means our solar system is not as empty as we thought. It means space is not just vast and silent, it's reactive. It means we may have already knocked on the cosmic door, and now someone, or something, is knocking back. And while mainstream science urges caution, history reminds us that great discoveries often begin with strange anomalies. Voyager 2, now over 47 years into its mission, may have just begun its most important chapter. Not as a silent observer, but as a communicator. Whether that communication is with another civilization, a deep space phenomenon, or something our physics can't yet explain, one thing is certain, it demands our attention. The signal may have been faint, almost missed, but it may turn out to be the loudest message humanity has ever received from the stars. As we peer deeper into space with ever-advancing instruments, from the James Webb Space Telescope to future interstellar probes, we must ask, how prepared are we for contact? Not just with alien life, but with alien systems of logic, transmission, and thought? Voyager the second of may not have just traveled far from Earth. It may have crossed into a new domain, where the rules are different, where signals aren't just data, but encounters. In the cold and lonely dark between the stars, a spacecraft built by humans may have stumbled into a whisper from the universe. And now, that whisper echoes back through time and space, asking us to listen more closely than ever before. We may be on the verge of a discovery not just about space, but about ourselves. Who we are, what we send, and what returns. The mystery of Voyager 2's signal may never be fully solved, but its message is clear. The universe is not quiet. It watches, it responds, and sometimes, it speaks.